I lived in Tokyo before. It's cheaper in Hokkaido University. The food and also the cost of transportation is not really a big issue because most of the places are walkable here. So you can just use the bicycle or walk or sometimes just use the train from time to time. So it's not difficult. Sapporo is very quiet compared to other cities, but it is not boring here. We have a lot of places we can go to do karaoke, <laughs> to, to drink, to have parties, or to just appreciate the beauty of nature. So it's quite laid back, very quiet, but not boring. Pag naglalakwat siya kami ng Filipino friends, pinag-uusapan namin kung masyado bang malayo or kung okay lang magbike. Tapos every Saturday, pwede ka, or weekend pala, pwede kang mag-avail ng Donichi ka subway ticket. It's an all-day subway pass. So minsan sinusulit lang namin yun every Saturday. <laughs> What I like in Hokkaido is that they have the best seafood, especially sushi. When I went to Tokyo or other parts of um, Japan, I can really feel the difference in terms of um, how seafood here is very fresh and very good. The good thing about Hokkaido is the good food, the environment, and also it's a lot cheaper. Plus, you also get to travel around. And you don't have to go outside Hokkaido, you can just travel inside Hokkaido. If you go outside Sapporo, you could see that it's far prettier than Sapporo itself. Coming from the Philippines, being in Sapporo is quite different. It's very, very different. So it's peaceful here. The transportation system is very good. The people can be quite disciplined. They follow rules. And I learned to live my life in six months of winter, which is a challenge, but also a very good achievement for me to survive my life here in Sapporo and also have fun.